right, so this is the base of the RoboBird, the very first thing that we're creating. And as you can see, it's a quite simple piece. So this is the uh, side that would be towards the inside of the RoboBird with all the servos on it. And then this is on the back side or on the bottom. And up here is where the front face will be standing up. Alright, so right now we're working on the side faces and we're at the point where we need to glue on this little ridge to the side. So basically what you're gonna have to do is sort of like glue onto the side there and then just hold it like that until the glue stays and then it will be perpendicular. Try to keep it as perpendicular as possible. Alright, so here you can see what it looks like when it's glued. See the shininess there and back here also. And yeah, it's just glued along the edge and we try to keep it as perpendicular as possible. Eh, you know, it's, it's just for holding up wires so it doesn't have to be that perfect. Alright, so let's uh, finish this piece off by adding on the coffee stick to this piece exactly the same way, pretty much. Alright, so here's the side face with the little edge sort of attached onto it. Uh, it's, this is it. It's uh, perpendicular, sort of. Very nice. And... Um, it will do really great to be able to route the wires coming from Robert's eyes and LDRs uh, into the, the base. For the beak, what you're going to want to be doing is creating the 3.5 centimeter piece that will be attaching to the base like this. It's going to have to have a hole in it so that it can attach to the, to the axles. That are going to the servo though. So for this basically what you do is you measure out about eight millimeters and then you take a tool, a poking tool is what I like to call it. I think the actual name is an awl. It's just uh, a wooden handle with a very pointy sharp end and you just basically and push it in until like um, you can hear it sort of crunching then you move it around and I've done this like many times so it gets really easy when you practice a lot you have to make sure that you're patient though so that way it doesn't sort of uh, crack the wood and then um, you can flip it over and then do the same for the other side and eventually you'll be able to get a hole through there and that's where the wire will be going through to attach um, the two axles or the axles together to this piece so that the beak can move. Alright, so let's get making the other parts now. Alright, so here we have the base for the RoboBird. And uh, this is the bottom part, so as you can see, this is what it looks like. And the uh, stands are like 90 degrees. So that way the top part can just sort of fit on like that and um, yeah. Obviously you'll have to do like some like movement of it to get it to fit just right but yeah so now let's try and glue this onto that all right so here's the base of the robo bird and as you can see we add in a few craft sticks so that we can uh, support the rotational servo as well as some of the electronics and it's springy yet sturdy which is very nice and we'll be able to paint this up and this is where all of our brains will go for the robo bird. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, let's move on to the next parts. Here we have the completed wing construction and basically all that it is is 
just one part of the wing, the actual wing part, attached to the servo horn and attached also to a counterbalance. And the point of the counterbalance is so that the balance point of this whole construction is as close as possible to the middle. So let's take a look at this. So for this one, you can see right here is pretty much the balance point. Um, and it's quite close to the middle. So what that means is that when it's attached to the servo, theoretically this would put less strain on the servo because it's not being always tied down to the weight of this part of the construction. It will be balanced by the penny side also. So that is the completed wing construction. And this is, I guess, what it looks like closer up. We only have one diagonal side here, so that way it just makes the felt look a little bit uh, more in that sort of wing triangle shape. And there's the penny. Alright, so let's keep building the robo bird.